Hello, welcome at part four of this tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna create the parts that are left for the hand grenade. Some parts are for the inside, like rod part one and two and the explosive. And the other parts are for the outside, the lever, seal, ring, and the safety pin. So we will start by constructing rod part one. We use the revolve function to create this. Then we have some chamfer at the bottom and at the top. And we have a thread, which is specified also in the drawing. Okay, let's start with this part. So new part, front plane, because we're gonna revolve standing up. We start with the center line vertically. On the bottom, horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically, horizontally again, vertically, like this, this. And then close it. So before we start dimensioning it, let's make sure that this line and this line, so we select both lines by holding the shift key, that they are collinear. That's important. So let's put in some dimensions. We know that This height is 12. This height is 3. This one is 7. And the total height was 55. Then we're going to dimension the last one that's over here. Two millimeters. Okay. The inside diameter is four. The diameter symbol in front of it. Then the next one is this one. It's five. The next one is nine millimeters diameter symbol and the outside is 12. Okay, we see, see it's underdefined because we missed one dimension over here. 0.3 and we see that this line is underdefined and it's most probably because it's not horizontal. So put in the horizontal relation. And now we see it is fully defined. Okay, let's go to features, revolve. Already selected the 360 degrees and also selected the center line for revolution. Okay, enter. So that's the basic shape. So there were two chamfers. Point two at the bottom outside. And we had a one at the top outside. Okay. So the only thing left now is the thread. The thread goes on the outside over here so we're going to create a plane from the top sketch and then convert the outside diameter that will be used 
for the helix spot. Okay, select it. Like we did in part two, we look at the threads. Okay, so it's the pitch is 0.6, nine millimeters. It goes on for six millimeters, 0.6. And then we have a 6.3. 0.6 but this one is 10 millimeters so we move it outside a little bit like I explained in part two this is what's normally done but with a thread that's created in this way it does never ends abruptly so now we have to sketch the shape of the thread we see the beginning of the Spiral is over here, means it's on the right plane. So we start sketching on the right plane. Go to the right plane. We see that the beginning of the spiral is on this side. So over here, we're going to create this shape. With a thread like this. Select all, hold down the left mouse key, select everything and mirror entities, put in dimensions. Let's check it out. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 5, 5, okay. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Point five five. So that's the shape. Okay, so we have to put the sketch on the spiral. So we select this point in the middle of the vertical line. Control select the spiral. Select this one. Control that one and select Pierce. So now it's on the spiral. Okay. Go out of the sketch. So now we do this web cut. It already selected the sketch. You need to select the spiral. And it gives me a nice preview of what's about to happen. Press OK. Now we see that SolidWorks has a problem with this. It's the same problem we had in part two of the of the of the video. That's because cancel, we cancel out. That's because the helix is changing the diameter away from the original one. SolidWorks has some problems when you do that. So to solve it, use the same method as we did in part two. We go edit the sketch and we add some material to the outside of the cut, like this, the inside out. Okay. And now we will try it again. Select the sketch, select the spiral, nice preview. And now we see SolidWorks created it correctly. Turn off the helix. Okay, so this is how the thread looks. It's moving in the correct direction. Clockwise. So that's what we normally have in the metric system. We have to turn clockwise to move it into the outer body. So this is 
the final one. So what we have left, we only have to put some material on it. If we look at the drawing, we see it's pressed aluminum, of course. Metal, aluminum or aluminium, depending on if you pronounce it in the American or the English version. We select brushed aluminum cores. So put it, select it, bring it to the top of the tree, let go. All right, now it's as we want to have it. Let's move on to the next. Let's see. Rock part number two. Okay. Select again a new part. Again on the front plane. Where is the center line? Vertically. So we use for basic then a line horizontally. Vertically inside. Vertically. Something like this. Since it is a solid, we will close it to the bottom. Okay. If we don't do this, and we revolve, SolidWorks will ask, tell you about it, and close it, closes for you anyway. But let's do it the way it's supposed to do it. So let's see dimensions. That's three millimeters. That's 2.6 total height, 35. Then we have this horizontal one, 0.3. Okay. Then we make this line shift this line collinear so then we choose first extent our center line so that it be it's visible and we can select it so we select this the outside the diameter of 12.4 Diameter symbol. So it's underdefined. What's underdefined? It's that line. It is vertically. That one horizontally. So now it's fully defined. Go to features. Revolve. Okay, so now we have a nice solid. What else is there to do? We have a fillet of two, and then we have to shell it out with the thickness, not the thickness, but a thickness of 0.3. It of two. Okay. Then we're going to shell it. The top will be open, so we select that face. Diameter point zero or thickness, excuse me, zero point three. Okay. Let's shell out. We gave this also brushed aluminum cores, so it's already 
selected from the previous part. Hold the left mouse key, drag it to the top of the tree and let go. Okay. That was an easy one. So next we will do the lever. You can find the dimensions over here. Start sketching with this shape over the here. Then we do the cutout to create this radius. And we will create the stop part that's there to uh, to hold the fire pin. Okay, let's start. Do sketch, start at the front plane because the item is standing up. Let's make the basic shape. If we hover over this endpoint, it will change automatically to radius. Then back to a line. Then back to a radius again. From here. Also a radius. A line. And a line vertically, horizontally. We move down. At this point we have a 180 radius and a horizontal line. Okay, so now we have the basic shape. It's the basic shape. All we have to do is this inside, but we do that after we have done the dimensions. So let's see what thickness is one millimeter. Radius of 16. Radius of 8. And the radius of 2. We know that this line is 13. We know that this line is 17.5. Up to the center 17 and this radius was two okay 3.7 okay so that line 32 so we have to put in the angles that angle was 135 This angle is 160. Okay. Let me know the distance from here to over there. It's 24. Let me know the total height. It's 79. Okay. Let's put in the offset. Offset is one millimeter. Make sure that chain is not selected. S select a line, this radius, this line, this radius, this radius, and this line. Okay. This line can connect and trim that part out. So that's the basic shape and it's fully defined. Now we have to put in the hole. The hole was two millimeters. Okay. So now we can extrude this one. 
We select the shape this one we want. Mid plane. Well. Okay. So basic shape. So the next thing we're gonna do is create a shape on top. So cut it out of this block. For this we will start on the top, create a sketch. The center line. From the left side of the block in the middle, a horizontal line with a length of six millimeters. So now we have connected the top six millimeters. I'll put in the shape. The vertical line height is not important because it's only used for the cut. On the outside, we go over here. I have a length of seven and go back to the middle. Then we can hold on the left mouse button, select all of them and say mirror. So it's underdefined because this line we did not dimension. It really doesn't matter, but okay. Make it 15. As long as it's outside of the shape we already created. Center point arc. Create arc. Okay. Offset one millimeter. And we know that this one is five. Trim this selection. Now we have a fully defined shape for the material to cut out. So we cut out this part and this part. And we will do this for a height of, we know that this one was the center of 17 plus two for the radius is 19. We want this material to be one millimeter. So we have to cut out 18, 18 millimeters. We will cut out. Okay. And then on the inside, we have to cut out this part. So we select it, sketch. It's still selected, converted entities. Cut it out, and now we have the basic shape. So next we're gonna put this one in that holds the fire pin of the grenade. Okay. Select the top, create a sketch. Now we will convert this arc. We use it as a basic shape. Then we have a center line in the middle with a length of seven millimeters. Seven. From the end vertically, 2.5, and then all the way to end point to the arc, like this. Select all the entities, mirror. Now we can trim this excess of the arc for the defined part. Now we have to cut out the middle section, horizontal line, 
180 arc back to the left or right side. This center of the arc and this line. No, it's not midpoint. It's in the like this. Two millimeters. One millimeter. Trim out. Okay, let's. We see it's underdefined. It was fully defined, now it's underdefined. It has to do with the fact that this point and this line has, have no relationship. Coincident. Okay, and now we see it's fully defined again. All right, extrude one millimeter downwards. Okay, so basic shape of the lever. What's left to do? Okay, we have a fillet at the bottom, six millimeters, and we have a fillet over there. 0.5. Let's start with the bottom, eight millimeters, eight millimeters. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Select like the opposite side. Okay. It's the one. Now there's only the top left. Fillet 0.5. But here we fill we'll do put a fillet on this line and on this radius. We cannot do both at the same time because if we select them both, it will create a problem. So we have to select this one first. Okay. And then this one next. Okay. What would happen if we select them the other way around? So if we delete this one and we first create a fillet over here, okay, and then over here. Okay, so we see that in that case, the shape over here has changed. So depending on what you, you prefer, you can do it this way, the other way around. So if I delete this fillet now and do it all over again, this one first, and second this one. Well, yeah, this one looks, looks better in my opinion, okay. So that's the part. The only thing we have to do is put some material on it. Set and finish aluminum. Where is the set and finish? It's over here. Left mouse button and drag it all the way to the top of the tree. Okay. Let's create a safety pin. Find here on the drawing. So we're going to use these dimensions to create the safety pin. Okay. Oh. Let's create a new part. We want to have it lying flat. So we start creating on the top plane. Start with the center line to the left. This parallel line and then from here we create an arc back over there like this from here an arc 
That's one part. On top. The other one, like this. That's the basic shape. So let's put in some relations first. This point, that point. Select both, holding down the shift key vertically. This point and that line. Coincident. Okay. That's important. The distance between those two lines, 0 0.05. And the same goes. Now oh, that line is not horizontal. It's horizontal. Okay. Zero point, yeah, that's already 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Okay, this length, 13, oh no, it's going to be completely out of, out of form, so let's make first sure that those two are also vertically, 13, okay. At a diameter one point seven five, one point seven five divided by two. That's the radius. And we know that the distance from this point to the center is three millimeters. This was twelve. Radius one point five. The length of this line, five, and this angle, 24. So 1.5, and the length, eight. The angle fifty two. Okay, it's fully defined. Let's exit the sketch, and now we're gonna create the shape that we used to put on this form we just created. So we will. You can start here or you can start there. Let's start here. Okay. Select that plane, that direction. Okay. Start sketching on that plane. Create a circle somewhere. In the midpoint of that circle, shift and this incident. Important, otherwise we cannot can not get it fully defined. The dimension of this circle was two. Let's cut it, vertical line, trim the excess. We know that from this point to that line was zero. 0 0.05, 0 0.05 to, now it's fully defined. Okay, exit the sketch. Let's hide the plane. Now we can select the profile, sweep around it, select this profile and this one. Okay. 
that was not that difficult to do. So what, let's put the material on it. The drawings are set and finished stainless steel. Where is it? Set and finish stainless steel. Top of the tree. Okay. Let's save this. Safety pin. Okay. Close. So, what's left? Okay. Let's create this ring. And then we create the seal and then we create the explosive. So let's go for the ring. Two revolutions, diameter 0 0.7, pitch 7.75, diameter 30, okay. New part, also flat on the table, so top lane. Circle diameter of 30. Go to features, helix and spiral. So, constant. We have the pitch and the revolutions. Pitch and revolutions. So, we know the pitch is point seven five. And the revolutions was two. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Put it upwards. That's it. Where did start the port was on eighty degrees? Okay. That's easy. So we sketch on the right plane. We want to sketch the diameter 0 0.7. 0 0.7. The center. Control. To the helix pierce. Okay. Already selected sketch. And why is it not correct? Because it should have selected two revolutions. Okay. So now this one is finished. Give it some material. Steel, polished steel. Polished steel. Okay. Height spiral. So the next one is the seal. That's rather easy to make, okay. New part. Let's use the top lane. So it is lying down. We have two circles. One is 18. The other one is 14.5. Five. Okay. Do this one two millimeters. Oh, wow! There's the seal. Let's see appearances. Let's go for the mat rubber. Put it on. Quick. Now the final item. Final item is explosive two. create this we need to 
create some construction lines because we need this this arc 55 because the center of that arc gives us the arc of the inside of the grenade and that means the dimension of the explosive okay let's create that one new part we're gonna do use a revolve you start in the front plane put in the center line like this and we put in some extra lines one below one somewhere over here and we have a line that is over here like this so we can dimension that that point and the arc starts on that line and go through that point okay make this for construction so this is the basic that we need construct the explosive put some dimensions in it 37 33 then we have from here to here it's 20 then from here to here was 26 and then we have the arc which is 55 okay now we have found our center point fully defined so far okay let's create the arc the center point through the same center point as the r55 and start at the bottom and it like this then we close this construction okay dimension this arc was 48.5 and the height ah uh, we can 42 44 really does not matter that much it's just a filling of the grenade so it's fully defined okay let's extend that one and then we can use that line for the revolution 360 okay that's the basic shape the inside of the grenade now we have to put in the opening where we will put in the rod we start creating again on the front plane to make ourselves easier we switch to hidden lines visible center line vertically okay and then we create a shape goes up inside up again to the outside up again something like this now we have to close it okay so what do we know we know that this line and this line hold shift they're collinear we also have a fillet of two at the bottom like this Put in some dimensions from the bottom to that bottom. 6.8. Then we know this length. That length is 29.4. Oh, okay. So we now we have a overlap. Go back. And we first dimension part 2.6 that part is 3 
Okay, we can dimension this one. 29.4 and then we have the total height make it 40 as long as this is outside the top it should be fine okay now we create the diameters use the central line and then we know that this one oh, this one is 12 diameter symbol in front of it that one is 12 this one is 12.4 And we know that this one is 11.8 diameter. Okay. Now we have fully defined what we want. What the features. Revolve. Cut. Already selected the center. Okay. So... We have our final shape. We can switch back to fully visible. Okay. The only thing left is to give the material to it. I used sand. Where is sand? It's organic, miscellaneous, and then we have sand. Drag it to the top of the tree like this. Okay. Well, that finalizes all the parts. So now you should have all the parts. In the next and final video, I will assemble all parts together. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. In that case, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Give me your comments. And uh, thank you very much.